Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another makeup basket. I keep saying, I feel like I have not done this in forever. I am trying to get back into the swing of things. So we are going to get started with my eyeshadow palettes. And I have quite a few of them. I think I was just kind of throwing things in here just to see what landed. Um, so let's see. I am going to start off with the Colored Rain Cheers to the Beauty palette, which I have not had a chance to use yet, but this is what it looks like. It looks gorgeous. I am like drawn to this color here. It's called Rosé, but it looks super, let me take the plastic out. It looks super gold. Actually, I'm going to swatch that for you because that one is calling my name. Yes, this is super metallic gold and don't know why it's called rosé but i'm going to be digging into this palette today and it does look like it has a decent um crease color in there for me and i pulled out two of the smaller colored rain palettes i pulled out the berry rust palette which looks like this. I ain't feeling fall. It is August the 7th, 7th, 18th? What is today? Today is August the 18th, but I am already feeling fall. I am ready for summer to be over, and I am not usually like that, but I am ready for it to be over. Um, but this is a Berry Rust palette. I also pulled out the Lovelies palette this shade right here is the shade that drew me in and i used this palette once before but only for that one shade and it's called high cutie it is nice and um like creamy when you touch it that is what high cutie looks like that uh rose color makes makes it look dull in comparison but it is still really a pretty color so i pulled those two out I also pulled out the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. This one is pretty much a classic. And that is what that looks like. I actually did use the shade, not this shade, I used the shade Blur today just to set my um, concealer on my eyelids. And what I used on my eyes today, why is it dirty? I did a video on this palette, so the palette is a mess, but it's the um, Queen palette, Fumi X Juvia's, the collaboration with Juvia's Place and Fumi Desilu Vold. And this is what those shades look like. It is so pretty. These actual pans are big enough to be, they, they look like the same size as the, the blushes they have in their blush palette. But this is an eyeshadow palette. Well, it's a multi-purpose palette. Let's put it that way. So we're going to do, does it say that? Yeah, it says multifunctional palette on the back. So that one is in there. Probably what I'm going to do um, later on this week is use the shade Glam and the shade Adrian together. Because I kind of did it today. I kind of mixed Actually, I used everything in this palette today, but I saw that when I was doing my eyeshadow in the video that the Glam and the Adrian blend so well together and look so good together. So that's probably how I'm going to use it later on this week. And last eyeshadow palette. This one is an oldie. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon palette. This is just one of those palettes that you just never throw away because you can always use it. But that is the Chocolate Bonbons palette. And you can see what my favorite shade was in here. And it's this one. And that is Molasses Chip. And just for the heck of it, I am going to swatch it. Right up under that super gold is the Molasses Chip. That is like one of my favorite types of eyeshadow to use. Um, foundation. I have the I Am Magic foundations from Juvia's Place. I have it in, in Kampala and Somalia. And today I have it on my face in the shade Kampala, which I think is a good summer shade for me. I also have the It Cosmetics 
Celebration Foundation Illumination. And of course I have mine in the shade Rich. And you can tell this one is very well used. It is almost hitting pan. I can sort of see the rings in the bottom of the pan. Um, I also pulled out and I'm basically just going to use this for a setting powder. This is the MAC Mineral Alaskan Finish in Dark. And this is a new one. This is like my second one. These things last forever. Um, you know what I noticed that I don't really have? I have like two blushes in here, I think. I didn't pull out that many. Actually, I thought I had two, but I only see one. I think I left one upstairs. But, um, oh, I have two. The highlighter that I'm going to use today, I mean this week and I used it today and you can see it on my cheeks. It's also from Juvia's Place and it's called the Royalty 2 and it's a loose highlighter and I love it's very nice. Um, the two blushes that I pulled out are the Bare Minerals Gen Nude But First Coffee which I have on today and I should have gone with my other blush today but it looks like this. And I have the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Lady Rouge. This is what I should have used today. But those are the only two blushes I have in here today. I have a mascara thrown in here for some strange reason. Um, my concealers, of course, are going to be Juvia's Place. I have them in the shade 11... 11 which is this one which I use under my eyes and then I have 15 which I use to put on my lids as like a um, eyeshadow base because it cancels out everything on your lids. I have several um, color rain products and we are just going to be drawing at random from these products here. I mean, I feel like I pulled out everything that I had from them. I think I have some stuff in here that I never even put back from before. Uh, so we're just going to be picking at random from the many things that they have that they sent me. One sec, let's see. Alright, so... I am probably not going to use those two, but liquid lipsticks. The liquid lipsticks I have in the shade whatever. And I'll swatch those on my hand. So that's whatever. That's really pretty. Let me put that up there again. That's whatever. This one is Boss Babe. And I wore this one once before. This is like my favorite type of mauve color. So that's Boss Babe. This one is Pebbles, which I have on my lips today. I have Pebbles on with quite a bit of chestnut lip liner. But this is Pebbles right down here at the bottom. I have Sweet Cake, which is just a little bit brighter than Pebbles. So is it brighter or is it darker? I can't tell. This is Sweet Cake. They almost look the same. I have Nude. And that is nude. So as you can see, it's a dark nude. And I have cherry, cherry blossom. Come on, come on down if you come in. And that is cherry blossom. What's up? All 
right, and I have four lipsticks from Color Rain. And trust me, I do not have time to wear all of these things, but this is just a half stuff to choose from. And this one is in the shade Soul. And Soul looks like this. And I am running out of swatch room, but we'll swatch it right here. And if you can see that little teeny swatch, this is what soul looks like. All right, and we have cameo, which I have worn before. Cameo is right above soul. We have choco lip, which is a sort of reddish brown vampy lipstick and it is right there it sort of looks like this liquid lipstick to me and then the last one is called whipped and whipped looks like this and I will swatch that and this is I thought it had some kind of perfumey smell but this right here at the end is what whipped looks like though so those are all of the lip colors that I have I also have um just something that I am coming up with on my own and I am thinking of adding it when I did my sort of get ready me great get ready with me video for this look I was talking about the fact that I am coming out with my own brand and my own cosmetics um, that I am very excited about and that's half the reason why I haven't been on YouTube because I have been working hard on that. It is in the very early stages. I mean in the very early stages like whereas I'm just doing uh, the legal things that I have to do like forming the LLC, I'm getting samples in, that type of stuff like very early. Um, but I have been trying to like formulate a moisturizing lip product that you can use if you want to put it on your lips at night, if you want to wear it during the day. Um, it's just something to just moisturize and liven up your lip color a little bit if you want to put it under a lip liquid lipstick, which is what I did today. Um, yes, so this is sort of my prototype and i've been wearing this for a couple of weeks now and it looks like this and the packaging is amazing and this is the packaging that i'm going to be going with um and i call this a rosy lips moisturizing lip serum and i call it a lip serum because to me it is a little bit more if you can see me sort of stirring it around in there it is a little bit more thin than a gloss is, but you can wear it on a gloss, as a gloss. And the reason why I made it that shade is, and it's right here. The reason why I made it that shade is because the older you get, and I'm trying to focus on a few things for us older ladies on YouTube, but the older you get, the more color your lips lose so a lot of times I look at my lips and they look gray I can put this on and it gives my lips a little bit more of a rosy color to it and it's very moisturizing like I can probably apply this thing twice a day only because I eat and it comes off and this is like within an eight hour period like a work day but it's long lasting and it moisturizes your lips has a bunch of good oils in it and I can't wait so I'm gonna be um adding this as one of my products in my brand i will be probably taking you along on my journey as i get things in to sample like the eyelashes that i have on today are some of the eyelashes that are going to be on my website when i launch the website and these are 100 percent mink lashes cruelty free um very comfortable and I am not one who likes to wear eyelashes you all know I am just starting to wear eyelashes 
but they were very comfortable the vein the band is like the perfect size it's not super thick it's not super thin so they are pretty easy to put on even for somebody like me who is not used to putting them on but i'm going to take you all with me for this ride of starting my own brand i do have a brand name not quite ready to share that with you all yet but as we get closer and closer like i think i have a few things coming in that are going to be samples that i'm going to share with you all. i do have some samples upstairs that um i have also that want to be part of my line so if you want to see those things if you want me to do a video on my business or like a series of videos on my business just let me know i will be happy to do it and happy to take you all on this ride it has been exciting it is stressful it is time consuming you want to do everything right you want to make sure it's going to be something that everybody likes so that stresses you out even more but i will be happy to share it all with you all but and let me know if you all might be interested in this here rosy lip moisturizing lip serum because that's probably going to be one of the products that i launch with that is it you all thank you all so much for watching this video i am glad super glad to be back with you all i missed doing youtube but i felt like i was just so busy that i, I was having a problem squeezing it in but as things are kind of calming down like the initial phase of everything is calming down so now i have time to um sort of get my videos back in probably won't be three videos a week it might be two videos a week so probably sunday and two sunday and maybe sunday and yeah sunday and tuesday maybe thursday but that's it you all thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoy <laughs> see this is how you know i'm not in practice if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed to my channel please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when i have a new video coming out um stay tuned later on this week for this get ready with me have a great day, you all, and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.